and why, I pray you? Who might be your mother that you insult XO and all at once over the wretched? What? Do you have no beauty? I see no more in you than without candle may go dark to bed. What means this? Why'd you look on me? As by my faith I see no more in you than in the ordinary of nature's sail work. What's to my little life? She means to entangle my eye too. No, faith, proud mistress, hope not after it. Tis not your inky brow, nor your silk black hair, nor your bulge eyebrows, nor your cheek of cream that can entain my spirits to your worship. You foolish shepherd, why wherefore do you follow her? Puffing like the foggy south with wind and rain, you are a thousand times properer a man than she is a woman. Tis such fools as you who fill the world full of ill-favoured children. Tis not her glass that flatters her but you, and from you she sees herself more proper than any of her lineaments can show her. But mistress, know yourself on your knees and thank heaven fasting for a good man's love, for I must tell you friendly in your ear, so when you can, you're not for all markets. Cry the man mercy, Take his offer, love him. Foul is most foul, being foul to be a scoffer. Now take her to thee, shepherd. He's in fallen in love with your foulness. And she'll fall in love with my anger, if it be so. As fast as she answers you with frowning looks, or sauce her with bitter words. <clears throat> Why, wherefore, do you look on me? I pray you, do not fall in love with me, for I am falser than vows made in wine. Besides, I like you not, 